Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the FR Sky R9 Mini Receiver. This receiver is super tiny, super light, and it has a really neat feature. It supports F port protocol. F port is S bus and smart port telemetry combined into one wire. It doesn't take up two UARTs like it does if you use S port and S bus. I'll show you how to flash the right firmware to this, connect it to a flight controller, and set it up in beta flight. So stick around. So if you missed my last video on how to flash firmware to your R9 Slim and R9M module, go back and watch that. There'll be a card right about there. Go ahead and follow that and come on back. So this is the R9 mini receiver and it's all solder pads. It does come with a, a pin header but I, I'm, I'm not going to use that. I like to just direct solder like this. And we're going to flash firmware to this. And it's pretty much the same setup as the other receivers. Uh, we're going to transfer all our information through the S-Bus wire, the blue one here. And then we just need ground and power. And we're going to have to connect this to the back of our Tyrannus, just like we did with the other receivers. For that, I'm just going to use a, a little servo cable that I made up. And I'll show you how to hook that up to the Tyrannus. Okay, just like last time, our pinout is going to be S-Bus Ground and Power. And I'm going to take my servo lead. Um, I've got S-Bus on the bottom, ground in the middle, power on top. And connect that up like so. And connect our receiver. Like so. This really isn't the best way to connect it, but it works. Okay, so I've got my wires connected there. I'll just double check one more time, make sure everything is in line where it should be. Okay, that looks great. Fire up your receiver. Hold down the menu button. Go to the next page. Find your firmware. Find your R9M Mini F port firmware. Select it and make sure if you're in the US you're flashing the FCC version. If you're in the EU, it's going to be the LBT version. Hold down enter and select flash external device. And we wait. And that's it. Now our receiver's flashed with the latest R9 Mini F port firmware. Exit out of here and turn it off. All right, so what's next? Well, next, we gotta install it in a quad. I'm gonna throw it in this guy. It's, a, it's an old SRD 250, it's a six inch uh, quad. And it's got a pretty old flight controller, and right now I think I have a XSR in it, which doesn't get very good range. I'm going to try to turn this into like a medium range quad. So, let's get it apart.
All right. Now we're indoor. We can go ahead and get this old receiver out of here. Get the top off. Take the flight controller out. Not a screwdriver. So, this has an old B-Rotor F3 in it, and I had I had it hooked up to an XSR, and luckily this top pin header here is the one we need to get a hold of. Uh, right now it's set up ground power, and this is the white wire is UART 3RX, but for F-Port we need a TX UART. Luckily, the pin next to it is UART 3 TX. So we'll just pull the pin header apart and swap that guy out. Gotta be very careful not to damage these. There we go. Locked in place. Go ahead and reinstall that. And then gotta get rid of this old smart port wire because we don't need that anymore. And it's pretty simple. This board is very heavy on connectors and pin headers, so we'll just Get rid of that guy and do one of these numbers. All right, get rid of that old mess. Don't need it. All right, now I just need to solder the R9 Mini to this pin header. Fire up the old Hacko, and we'll get to doing. There we go. Good to go. That's it. One wire. That's all we need. We're going to get our S bus and our telemetry on just one wire now. A lot cleaner build. And before, you needed two UARTs because S port had to be on a different UART than your S bus. Now it's all in one. And from what I'm reading, it's also faster. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. But it's definitely cleaner and it's definitely easier. So one of the things that I don't like about the R9 Mini, and really it's the only thing, is the IPEX connector compared to the IPEX connector for the Immortal T antenna, because I really like the Immortal T antennas, but these two don't, you can't use the Immortal T on the R9 Mini. That is a huge downside to me. Uh, but Check this out. Make your own little Immortal T antenna out of the flexible antenna that comes with the R9 Mini. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, this 3D printed designs on Thingiverse by a user Woody XB something. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll put a link in the description of this video. Go there, go ahead and print it out. Um, make sure you uh, like it comment if you have any comments and uh, post up pictures of the ones that you make. Uh, I'm sure he would appreciate that. So anyways, let's uh, get this connected back to this guy and we'll go over to the computer, 
and fire up Betaflight, show you how to set this thing up. Okay, back to the PC here. I have Betaflight up. I'm going to connect my flight controller. Flight controller is connected. And uh, i got to go to my ports. And since I'm no longer using a XSR, I need to disable telemetry on UART2 because remember that used up two UARTs. And I have my F port wire connected to UART 3 TX. So we're going to have that enabled there. Save and reboot. All right, so I'm going to go down to configuration and find our receiver. Make sure we're still on serial based receiver. And instead of S bus, we're going to select FR Sky F port. And we'll hit save and reboot. And we're going to come down to our receiver tab. Our receiver is bound and it's connected to our Tyrannus and it doesn't work. Go down to CLI and type get a serial. And we're going to need to change our S bus inverted to on. So set serial rx underscore inverted equals on. And we have to change our half duplex to on. So set serial rx half duplex to on. There we go. And type save. Should reboot. We should be able to go to our receivers tab and boom, there it is. It works. And also go to your Tyrannus and rediscover uh, sensors under the, the telemetry tab in your receiver. And all your information should be there. Just that simple. And I believe I have RSSI on AUX 8. So I'll set that up there. Make all right, well, that's it. I have my uh, receiver tucked in nice on top of the flight controller. Antenna mount to the rear. Flies great. Works great. And that's it. F port. It's the future. If you like what I'm doing here, uh, click the like, the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I read everything. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you want to see something different. Alright, catch you next time.